Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a drop-down navigation menu. So let's say for example you have a PowerPoint show and you want to be able to have menus on the top and those will be your navigation menus. So this is an example of how it would work. Let me bring this into slideshow view. And let's say for example you have different sections. I'm only going to do one section here but uh, in each section you have different modules and you want to go ahead and click and be able to uh, have a drop down and you can click on that drop down and go to a different module. Let's say for example we want to go to module 1 here. So we're in section 1, module 1 and we're in section 1. If we want to go to module 2 in section 1 we can click that and it'll take us to module 2. If we want to go back to the home we can click on this, it will take us back to the home home page here, the home slide. So we want to create something like this, maybe we have different sections and it kind of goes across and this becomes our navigation menu if we're doing a PowerPoint show. So let me go ahead and show you how it's done. Let me go ahead and escape out of here. I'm going to go into a new slide. So here's our new slide and so basically let's start to create the text box for our buttons. So let's go ahead and create one text, two text box first. I'm going to click on in home and go ahead and click the text box to draw it out. And go ahead and draw one out here. I'll call this home and I'm going to go ahead and center it and give it some color. Go into format and for the shape fill, let me give that a, a green color. I don't want a outline, a border, no outline, so that's fine. So that's going to be my uh, home button. So let's say for example I want to have my section button. And I, I want to keep the same, oops, let me go ahead and move this a little bit up here. I want to keep having the same uh, size and also the same kind of colors. So what I can do is I can just click on that, press Control D, it will duplicate it. And I'm going to move this over here. And this will be my section. And that can be, oops, let me go ahead and re delete that backspace there. That will be section 1. And then I'm going to go ahead and select that and press Control, Control D to duplicate that. And let me go ahead and make this uh, Module 1. So this is going to be Module 1 and Section 1. So let me go and select that, Module 1. And I want to give Module 1 a different color. Let's give this a yellow color. So I'm going to go ahead and select yellow there. And also now I'm going to go ahead and just select that, press Control D to duplicate that and make this Module 2. Let me go ahead and move this down here delete that, make this module 2. So let me go ahead and just kind of adjust the sizing here so we don't have too much white space in between. Let me go ahead and move this up a little bit. Uh, that was a little too much control Z to undo. Maybe I'm going to use the uh, control and then the arrow keys to fine tune that movement so it doesn't, so it becomes a little bit easier. The movement is not, not too high, not too uh, large. Uh, let me go ahead and press control key and then the up arrow key and let's see how that works. So that looks okay. I'm going to go ahead and actually move this one a little bit closer to section one here. Uh, maybe not too close. That was a little bit too close. And uh, actually maybe I can just move all of this and you select it all and just kind of use my left arrow key and change it there. So that's how I want this to look right now. So what I'm going to do now is I want to select these two. Let me go ahead and select these two. So now these two are selected. I want to group these two. So I can press Control G. That will group it. That will make these two objects into one object. So what I want to do now is after I have grouped them, I want to create some animation effects. So basically what I want to do is when I click on this, this will fly in and out. So I'm going to go click under animation and the first animation I'm going to add is to have it appear. So it's going to wipe down. So when you, usually when you click on a tab, it the underneath the sub tabs kind of fall out or fall, fall down from the top. So that's going to be a wipe. So that's going to wipe. I want to have that wipe down, right? So that's going to wipe down. Let me go ahead and bring the animation pane here because I'm going to have different animations, more than one animation, so I want to be able to uh, do some, some adjustments here. Okay, so for this particular animation, what I want to do is I want to go in and edit it. So for the effect options, so I want to change the timing of this particular wipe down, basically to have uh, these sub tabs appear. So I want to go to timing and I want to have a trigger. I want to set a trigger and I want to start this animation when the section one, let me go ahead and click on that, when that section one box is clicked. So when that's clicked, that should 
create that particular animation when it goes down. Now after that I want to create another animation because I want to have it where when you click it again that animation disappears. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this animation and click add another animation. I'm not going to create it here because what I, if I do it here it's going to override it. So I need to add an additional animation. So I'll click on, oops, let me go. It's this one. So I'll click on add animation and for this other one I want to have it disappear. So it's going to wipe and disappear. So this one's going to go up now because when it appears it goes from the top down. When it disappears it goes from the bottom up. So this has come from the bottom. And for this I want to do the same thing. I want to have a trigger for it. So for the second animation what I want to do is also create a trigger. So under the effect options I'm going to go ahead and go under timing and select on the select the trigger button here and start the effect on the selection of text box this section one right this one right here. So I can click OK and now let me go ahead and play this to see if it works. Let me go into animation mode. So if I click here it appears click it again it will disappear. So that is set pretty well. Go ahead and press escape to get out of the slideshow view. I'm going to add a, a label down here so I know where I'm going. So this is the home tab. So I'm going to go under a home here, enter a label here to see to make sure that I'm in the right section. So I'll just type home and I'll center this. After creating these animations, actually I want to do one thing uh, in addition to this particular slide before I make copies of it. So all I want to do is I want to create a link to the home, to the, to the home um, slide. So basically if we have a situation where we have different sections and we want to go, go back to the very beginning or to our uh, or base slide, we can click on this home button and it will take us there. And so what we need to do is we need to insert an action. So if we go onto the insert tab, I'm going to insert an action here and I'm going to click on mouse click. So there's two particular tabs here. We can mouse over an object or you can mouse click an object and an action will be performed. So I want to choose mouse click and once we click on the mouse or do the mouse click on that particular object I want to take it to the first slide. So we're making the assumption that uh, the home slide is the first slide. It's always going to be the first slide of the deck. Uh, if I wanted to take it to slide two, which would be, con if I had a slide two and I, that would be like the, nav the initial navigation slide, I would just choose slide here and then choose from a selection here. But I'm going to make this, my first slide is going to be my home slide. So I'm just going to go click first slide here. It will always be the first slide for here in this example. So if I click OK and uh, I'll go ahead and have this as a template now. So this is basically my template. I have an action link that goes to the home slide and I have uh, these particular items here uh, when I click on the section one here this will fly in and then fly out. This can actually start to be a template now. I've had different sections like section two, section three and the modules below, below and beneath it uh, I can create the additional uh, animations with the triggers for it. So once this template is kind of done I'll go ahead and make copies of it. So I select the slide here press control D twice because I'm going to make uh, two copies of it, one for module one and one for module two. So for this particular slide I'll call this section one, whoops, section one and this will be module one. And then for the next one here, let me go and just copy this so I don't have to type everything. Control C to copy. Let me go into slide three here. I double click this and then control V to paste. I delete that space and this is going to be module two. So what I want to do is like go back to module two right here. So now in this particular portion of it what we want to do is we want to create action links that take us to the different modules. So I, what I want to do is I want to go and click in the, this is grouped right now. You, I had mentioned earlier that this I grouped it and so you can do the fade in and fade out. But you can also select within the group for the individual objects in there. So I want to make sure I select that object. You'll notice that now it turns into a solid line. And once that's selected, what I want to do is I want to go to insert and go under action. And then I want to create, a, I want to use the mouse click uh, action setting, not the mouse over one. So with the mouse click one, I'm going to have a hyperlinked. And I'm going to select that. And I want to go select it to go to slide three. So if I select that drop down, then go and find the slide option, select that, and I want to go to slide three. Click OK, uh, click OK. And we don't need to do anything with module one because this is in module one. So the assumption is if I'm in module one, I don't need to click anything to go there. What I want to do is do the opposite for uh, this particular slide. 
what I want to do is click on that. I'm already in module two. I don't need to do anything with module two. But for module one, I'm going to go ahead and click that, make sure it's not a dotted line, a solid line. I want to also go to insert, action, and with the mouse click, have that hyperlinked over to slide two. So let me go ahead and click that drop down and find the slide option and then go to slide two here. So I have to click OK and click OK here. OK, let me go ahead and test it out in the slideshow view. All right, so we're in the home. Let me go under section. Let me go to module one. It goes with to module one and you see it disappear. Let me go ahead and go to module two and this goes to module two. And if I go back to click this, this will go back to module one. If I click home, it will take me back home. But you notice something interesting here. When, when I go back to home, you have it still show up here. And so we want to have a situation where when you click on when you click somewhere where you want to go back, this doesn't show up anymore. Basically, it kind of becomes invisible. Um, so there's actually a workaround to this. We'll create a dummy slide where it will automatically go to the next slide where it will have the animations. But this is kind of like a workaround to this particular situation where we went to the back to the home button, but then these still show up. So let me go ahead and press escape to get out of that. Oh, also one more thing, if you notice, let me go ahead and click back into the slideshow. If I clicked on here and I go to module two and maybe I clicked outside, the slideshow will end. So we don't want that to happen too. We want to be able to, to use only the navigations to go back and forth with slides. Let me go ahead and click escape to get out of that. So what we want to do is for each slide for the transition, if we go to the transition, we don't want to have the advanced slide on any mouse click. So let me go ahead and click this one and click deselect that and click one and deselect that. So basically we're making the assumption that navigation through the slideshow should be based on the particular um, sections, uh, selections here. Now, any subsequent slides that have the content, maybe we want to still keep that on mouse click, but for the navigation type of slides, we don't want to have that available. So now, I had mentioned earlier, I want to create dummy slides to kind of get off that workaround where when you select on this, the drop downs would kind of disappear. So what we want to do is we want to make kind of dummy slides of each one of these, basically a duplicate. So I'm going to select that and press Control D to duplicate that. Select slide three here, can press Control D to duplicate that, and press five here, press Control D to duplicate that. So I mentioned uh, these were dummy slides. Uh, basically, what's going to happen is we're going to create an instance where if you're in slide five here and you click home, it's going to go to this slide, but this, it's not going to have uh, these particular sub modules available, and it's immediately going to go into slide two where it has the sub modules available, and it'll give you the option to have that drop down. So with this particular slide, I'm going to have it go immediately to the next slide. So it's going to advance slide to this next slide, which will have the drop down. So this first slide, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete uh, this particular group, press that and delete it. And the same thing for this one. We're in module one, but if, you're, we're, in, if we're in any other, other slides, what I want to do is I want to go this to this slide, which will have this gone, but it's immediately going to go to the next slide. So it's going to advance slide immediately for zero seconds. So it's going to go to this slide where it doesn't, where it has the um, drop down, the, the wipes and the animation. So the same thing I'm going to do with slide five. This is module two, right? So what we're going to do is delete that and select the after advanced slide after zero seconds. So it will immediately go to this slide where we would have the animation effect. So once that's done, I'll go ahead and just go into the slideshow view. Now I'm in the home page. Let me go in section one, click on module one. Oh, that didn't work. And I think I probably know why. Probably in section, when I created the home page, I did neglect it to add the action links to module one and module two here. So we can just go back and add that in. We go under insert, go under action, and ah, yes, it's not here. So mouse click. I want to have this go to slide four now. So this is going to go to slide four. So let me go ahead and click that drop down. That goes to slide four. Oh, it's not going to go to slide four. It's going to go to slide three because as we did before, when it goes to slide three, it will automatically go to slide four. So we're going to go to slide three and then click OK and then click OK here. And then for module two, let me go ahead and select that. That's going to be the action button here. And we're going to have that go to slide five because once it goes to slide five, it will immediately go to slide six where we have the animation effects. So I'm going to go and click on that 
and go under the slide and that's going to go to slide 5. Let me go ahead and click OK and then click OK and let's try the slideshow now. Click on slide 1, go to the slideshow. So basically what happened is once we click on the slideshow it immediately advanced to slide 2 and the way that we can see that if I right click and click go to slide we're in slide 2 right now. So let me go ahead and click on section 1. Let's see if this works go to module 1 it takes us to module 1 and we can see that the drop down disappeared and go to module 1 we can't click module 1 because we didn't create an action link but we can click module 2 because we did and we're in module 2 right now and let me go ahead and click on uh, module 2 here we're in module 2 we shouldn't be able to click on module 2 and we can't but we could click on module 1 and it'll take us back to module 1 we can also click on the home button here it will take us back to home and we can right click and we'll see which slide we're in. We're in slide two and that worked out perfectly. And so I can escape to get out of this slideshow view. But basically what we have is we have kind of a navigation tabs on our top and we can select that and go to the different slides that we want to go to. So this is kind of a navigation aid that we can show as a PowerPoint show or if we have something like a demo and a kiosk, uh, we don't want to be able to, we, we want to kind of limit uh, where we would show our demo where people can go through so we can create kind of this uh, navigation structure and not have people click in and out. See, I can, if I press the button here, I can't really go anywhere uh, because it's dependent on you using the navigations here. So this is one way that we can create kind of a pseudo uh, tab navigation uh, for our particular slideshow. Let me go ahead and press escape to get out of that. And this kind of becomes our, our kind of template. And so we can just add our content slides in between uh, our navigation slides here. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.